on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Check out this infrared thermal imaging camera for Mac or Android with an optional micro teleconverter lens. Wow, that is tiny. Holy cow. It's a little bigger than a quarter. This is impressive. It's $299 without the macro attachment and $349 with the magnetic macro attachment. Let's see what else comes with it. An extension. Look at that. Nice little case. It's so tiny. One year warranty. Instruction manual in English. So we have to go search for the P2 Pro app in the App Store. P2 Pro. Disclaimer, easy mode, settings, pro mode, more functions, image processing. It says you use the OTG on to go view two while using the app and allow pictures and videos, access photos, access to camera. Well, that was a snap. Oh, that's actually a pretty good picture. We change different palettes. Got a fire going. Let's see what that looks like. And I was just using my excavator, so. Gives you a protection warning. Do not direct the infrared camera at a high temperature radiation source. Let's do a video. Go through the different modes here. Oh, you see the heat coming off of it. It's even warming up the excavator. The engine's still warm in there. It's in Celsius. So let's stop that. Let's change that. Professional thermometry. Yeah, let's do that. Advanced image settings. Optimize image. Video automatic shutter switch. There we go. Temperature settings. Units. I want on Fahrenheit. Burn protection. General. Language. System dependent. Watermark. We'll leave on. And help. That's actually a pretty nice picture. Do another video here. Delete, what's that? Oh, that's a delete everything. Rectangle, line, and point. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty nice. It shows you a little image in image. That's the calibrate button. 
we put a dot temperature 355.3 Fahrenheit if you can see that I'll take a picture and do a picture in picture see if that comes through and we'll do a video picture in picture Wow, that thing is so tiny. So this has a ton of settings and options here. You have image flip, variable correction, you click to edit the variables of the emissivity, high quality, wide range, or auto. Then you have your image settings. So you can change your brightness and your contrast. There's a ton of features on this. When ordering the Infrared Pro 2, you can order a magnetic micro teleconverter lens that goes on it. Be sure to select that option if you want it. It's great for doing close-up electronics. So let's test it out. I have a Wi-Fi switchboard on my garage door. Some nice small components. Let's see how close we can get. That's nice and close up. You can definitely see what components are putting off some heat on this board, that's for sure. That part right there is probably the voltage regulator. Yep. So yeah, this thing is incredible. And so tiny. The price of these have come down so much. You can't afford not to have one. I mean, there's so many uses. Like checking your breaker panel to see if you have something drawing too much or a bad connection. Different components to see how much heat they're throwing off and how much power they're consuming. See if there's any animals in the woods here. Check your engine temperatures. You can also connect the supplied wire. If you want to hold it in your hand instead on your phone. It's actually pretty nice. Especially if you want to get up, get up close to stuff. Let's say if you're working on an engine or something and you, you want to get up in there and see see what's heating up the exhaust pipe stays nice and hot don't it check for heat losses in your house cool tricks to show your friends it's actually pretty neat how it keeps the heat of your hand marked on the table. Wow, that stays there quite a while. The Infrared P2 Pro has some pretty impressive specs too. You can pause it if you'd like to check them out. So they pretty much thought of everything, except having to record audio. Oh, that's freaky, huh? What you doing, Gizmo? I know. I like the fact that you don't have to charge a battery. Comparing this to my other thermal camera that plugs in here, the battery don't last. It don't last at all. And I never could figure out why didn't they just use the battery coming from the phone. 
and this infrared has a lot better image and video. This tiny little camera is actually the best thermal imaging camera that I've tested to date. It's incredible what they can pack into this little unit. If you're looking for a super compact, one of the smallest infrared cameras you could buy, this infrared camera is for you. I'll put the links down below. I'll put any kind of discounts if available. And as usual, thanks for watching, guys. That's right. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.